Okay, jumping in again with co-teacher for today. I'm um, gonna kinda get this squared up on the screen. Uh, do want to point out that we are still working on our CERs, finishing those up, and then we're gonna be finishing up our anchor charts after we do the CER stuff. Um, so same objective as we're trying to finish this stuff up and where my head got cut off, I'm gonna step out of the shot. Uh, I can explain various ways humans use natural resources and impact Earth systems. I can list alternative energy humans cause. On our agenda for today, uh, PSAs again, so we should have already done those. Co-teacher session going on right now. Going to get you guys some notes on CER uh, because there was some questions that came up that I want to address. And then uh, CER choices. Um, I'll actually pull that slide back up so you guys can see it again. Uh, and then when you finish everything, you can be working on anchor charts. If you have any other missing work, this would be the opportunity to do it would be today. So uh, for the CERs, uh, big questions about claim were coming up. Your claim is going to be based on the article. Uh, in a student definition that I heard from someone, I'm going to put SD for student definition. A uh, student definition that I got from one of you guys was actually that it is opinion that then is backed by evidence. The key point here, I think, would be that the claim, it's based on the article, but it is your thoughts. So your thoughts go into the claim. For the evidence, you want three pieces for full credit. It must be from the article. and it needs to support your claim. And I will do a uh, fake CER for you guys in, in a second here uh, to give you kind of the concept of what they look like again. Um, your reasoning, we're back to your thoughts again. Your explanation of how the evidence supports your claim. Okay, so that's your explanation of how the evidence supports your claim. Um, key things to remember, mentioned them yesterday. Um, do not use the word I. I realize you're saying your uh, statements, that kind of thing. Don't care. When you go on social media, uh, you don't say, I think this. You just jump right in there. You know, uh, Kendall Jenner looked like garbage last night. Is that a person? I don't know. I'm, I'm not actually cool. I uh, don't think that I am. Um, so don't use I. Uh, related to that, since we're not using I, we're not going to use other forms of I, which means you would not use my claim is because... Uh, and I've mentioned that kind of thing before. Um, also, don't give evidence that doesn't actually support the claim. So if you make a claim that Wrigley Field is the best stadium in baseball, don't start giving me evidence about Miller Park and how many Cubs fans show up there. That's evidence for Cubs fans, not evidence that supports Wrigley Field being the best stadium. Okay, so that's your basics for um, CER. I, um, I'm gonna save this sheet for you. I'm going to take a look and do a quick one on the Superman um, anchor chart that we had. A reminder for those of you when you get to anchor chart, uh, a reminder of things that you can look at. The omelet example is in fact an anchor chart uh, because it has kind of the pictures to remind you what you're looking for. Gives you an idea of the, the skills that you need there. Uh, one last reminder I want to give you on here. I'm trying to pick a different color. Hopefully this green shows up in the screen. Um, Make sure to write in complete sentences. So that means that they're going to have to have a subject and a verb. And I'm aware that that stuff didn't show up right there. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and get it uh, up on the screen here in just a second. Um, so it needs to have a subject and a verb to be a complete sentence. Uh, you want to make sure then um, 
the subject is going to be the noun of the sentence. So I might say Mr. Neway. And then the verb is the, the predicate. The verb is the thing that they do. Um, I had some people yesterday just jumping straight into the verb part of the sentence. No subject, especially during the evidence. You got to make sure to include all the parts or your sentence doesn't actually make sense. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that written up here. So pause properly. Okay, so we can see here complete sentence, subject, noun, and predicate verb. Uh, I did say I want to get that written on there so it would actually pause properly. Um, so then we're going to take a look at a quick CER that actually looks at our Superman picture. Let me get that for you. Okay, so this was our anchor chart for uh, Superman. We're going to go ahead and turn this into a uh, CER forum. We're going to be focused on the topic of the claim that he is a superhero. Here's our evidence. He can fly, he has laser eyes, cold breath, x-ray vision, and super hearing. We only need three of those, as we know. And then the reasoning will go ahead and support that. So, superhero. It's gonna be our claim. We're gonna clear this out of here for a second. I'm going to go ahead and just do it the um, graphic organizer way because I think it's going to be easier that way. Um, as I mentioned, you have choices. So your choices were the C, E, R, E, R, E, R, the graphic organizer, or the C, E, R paragraph. And for my purposes, I am going to choose to do graphic organizer style, claim. Evidence. Reasoning. And since I already uh, discussed what the claim and the evidence are going to be, we're just going to jump ahead right to reasoning. Okay, so reasoning needs to explain how the evidence supports the claim. Um, normal people cannot fly without an airplane. Um, only an alien from a planet with a red sun could get laser eyes from a yellow sun. on that, please. I know some of you are thinking about making a comment. Um, so that is our Superman CER to kind of give you a concept of what that looks like. That should kind of cover all of the details that we're looking for here. Uh, so we can go ahead and jump back to our co-teacher notes right here. Um, claim based on the article. Student um, definition was opinion and backed by evidence. Evidence, three pieces for full credit from the article. It needs to support your claim. Reasoning, your explanation of how the evidence supports your claim. Remember, do not use I, do not use my claim is because. Write in complete sentences. That means a subject and a predicate. Subject is a noun, predicate is a verb. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Um, a few people, probably more than a few were interested, but only a few people actually said something, wanted the articles read. So I did record two videos with that. What we're gonna do is if you are looking at, um, the old copy article, this one. Gonna have you step towards the back half of the room by the Cubs poster. 
And if you are looking for this article, the one on the palm oil, then we're gonna to come towards the front half of the room um, to kind of look at that. And so what we're gonna do is, back half we'll set up a student laptop to go ahead and play that video on the Okapi. Front half we'll go ahead and play the video on the palm oil. And then we'll pull these notes back up here so that everybody can see them. Uh, so that you can actually try to complete your CERs for today. If you finish your CER, then you can go ahead and be working on your anchor chart. If you finish everything, then uh, you'll have a chance to complete any uh, missing work that you might have at this point. So hopefully that kind of covers everything you're going to do. I think a lot of you are going to be working on CER the whole time anyhow. So uh, hopefully this helps.